Hello my dear students, welcome back to a new lesson of English language proficiency program. How are you today? Just as I ask you every day, I feel all of you are happy there. Okay, I can see you all ready to learn our new lesson. Okay, today we are going to learn an important grammar part which is very simple and we will make mistake very easily. Okay. So you just try to understand this new lesson and try not to make any mistake from today onwards. Okay. See, we can see uh, he writes or he write, they write or they writes. We can see S with the verb, right? Most often students feel confused with the usage of those verbs, right? I'm going to teach you verb will be used based form. I mean, right is an example and verb will be used S form. Okay, here we are going to learn verb will be used base form and verb will be used S form. Okay. Just look at here, base form or S form. Simple present tense. What a simple present tense? I'm not going to teach you tense in detail. Okay, I know it will make you confused. Okay, but we use this base form or S form in simple present tense. Simple present tense is the first, first sub tense of present form, present tense. It is the first sub tense of present tense. So, first we need to learn what is simple present tense. Okay. So, subject plus base form or S form plus object. We need to use base form. Base form means V1. Verb 1. All of you know that. That is the base. We form all other form of verbs from this base form. So, this is called base form. So, V1 or S form plus object. For example, I'll give you an example. Write or writes. Eat or eats. We feel confused, right? We feel confused whether we need to use eat or eats or write or writes. I'm going to teach you verb will be used base form and verb will be used S form. So, I believe you won't make such mistakes from today onwards. Okay. So, I'll give you an example. He writes a story. Then same example we can write with the subject they, they write a story. They write a story. What is the difference? Both sentences are written in simple present form. It's happening now. Okay. So we wrote both sentences in simple present form. Write, write. We used write. The verb write in both sentences, but in one sentence we used writes, right? In one sentence we used writes, yes, sister. In another sentence we didn't use yes. Here we write, write. Okay, have you got why do we write so? Okay, I'm going to teach you verb will we use base form and verb will we use S form. Okay. So first let's write base form. Base form means we need not use S there. We just write what is the verb. Okay. So I'll give 
base form with I Yo De V Plural subjects Plural subjects I Yo De V and plural subjects Okay and what about S form? S form it is not just a verb form I just use S form for your convenience it will give you an idea about what is S form and what is base form okay so here S form we will use with he she it singular subject okay singular subject very easy to understand so when we write a sentence we need to check whether it is he she it or singular subject then what we need to use we need to use yes with the verb just like here we wrote right it is he it is here right so we wrote s yes. but we didn't write s here because the subject is they they comes under this category base form okay have you got it okay students i think all of you got verb will be used base form and verb will be used s yes form okay we will use base form or v1 that means we won't use s yes with the verb when the subject is i you they we and plural subjects okay but we will use s yes with the subjects he, she, it and singular subjects. Okay. Clear? So if I say Raju, it or eats. Tell me the answer. Yeah, eats. Raju is a singular subject, right? But Raju and Ramu, eat or eats. It is eat. Okay. We don't want to use S yes with those plural subjects. Okay. Children. It is a plural subject. Children. Right. No need of using S there. But child writes. Clear? Then there are some special words. We already discussed about some special words. We will consider those words as singular. Right? Can you remember those words? Yeah. Everyone. Somebody. Someone. Nobody. Etc. Right? We already learned those words consider as singular subjects. So, we need to use S yes with those subjects. Okay, clear? Okay, so you just note this. Now, after that I will give you those special words where we use. Yes, we will not use S yes with the subjects I, you, they, we and plural names. Plural subjects, plural nouns. Okay, then we should use S yes form or we should add one S yes with the verb when the subject is he, she, it and singular subject. Okay. All of you know this now. I hope it's clear to you. If it's not clear, I'll read it for you. Base form or S form. We will use base form with simple present tense. Okay. Format of simple present tense is subject plus base form or S form plus object base form or s form plus object base form means verb one s form it is also verb one but there will be one s with the verb okay plus object then example he subject writes verb a story object so here writes it is in s form because the subject is he then they write a story they they is the subject here it is in base form because the subject is they they is the subject they write a story okay write it is not writes okay the next you just not what will we use base form what will we use base form when the subject is i 
you, they, we or plural subjects. I eat, you eat, they eat, we eat, Raju and Ramu eat, students eat, people eat, children eat. Okay, then yes form. He, she eat and singular subject. He eats, she eats, it eats, it's or it comes. Then Raju comes, Ra Ramu comes, Fatima comes. Just like that. Okay. Please note this. I'll give you those special words after that. Okay. So, dear students, please note, if the subject is everybody, somebody, nobody, anybody, someone, no one, everyone, anyone, everything, something, nothing or anything. Okay, as I told you, these are considered as singular subjects. Okay, so as we already learned, when... He, she, it or singular subject. Ah, subject is there as a subject of a sentence we need to use. Yes, with the verb. Okay. So, this special words, everybody, somebody, nobody, anybody. These are all considered as singular subjects. So, we need to use yes with the verb. Okay. Everybody writes. Somebody comes nobody goes anybody eats someone reaches no one goes everyone eats anyone reads everything comes something something goes wrong nothing turns right turns yes so just like that you have to add s yes form with those singular Subjects. I hope it is clear to you. Okay. Okay, dear students. I hope all of you got today's lesson. It is very easy. But students make mistakes very often. Okay. I'll give you an overall picture once more. We will use is form. Means eat or eats. Write or writes. Go or goes. We will use is with he, she, it. Singular subjects. Then those special words as I told you somebody, everybody, someone like that. Okay, we need to add S with those verbs. When these come as a subject. Okay, then we can use base form or we need not use S with the verb when I, you, they, we, then plural subjects come as the subject of our sentence i hope it is very clear to you and i believe you won't make a mistake again when you write or speak those verbs okay so i'm going to give you today's activity i'll give you 10 sentences you have to select suitable answer from the bracket Okay, there will be two options. You can select right option. Be very careful when we use S yes and base form. Yes form we are using with singular subjects. Don't be confused. S yes, is connected with plurals. It is connected with plurals when it comes before nouns. Right? Bag, bags, then book, books and all. So we will feel confused. S is related to plurals. But when this S comes with the verb, it is different. 
we use s form with singular subjects singular subjects we won't use s with plural subjects when we use it in simple present form as i told you simple present form is subject plus base form or s form you need to use verb 1 or we need to add s with that okay i hope it is clear to you i'm going to give you today's activity sit down there and write your activity well and think and write don't make any mistake so you have to read your answer and record your voice that is the way you have to practice it okay I'm going to wind up today's class. I'll see you soon with another interesting lesson. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day.